put you in the back. I'm going to put Hayden in the front. Okay, okay. okay. everybody gather around so when you kayakers, you don't have to listen to me. Canoeists, you probably want to. So, I'm going to ask you to get in this way because it keeps the boat from turning over. So, I'm going to get Hayden, who's going to paddle in the front, to hold the boat steady while Marcus climbs in. When you climb in, Marcus, I'm going to get you to step right to the center of the boat in front of your seat and stay low. Go ahead and grab it with your hands. Yep. And then just sit down. Well done. Now, it works better to have the red paddle in the back, and that'll help you with steering. I'll explain that in a second. So if you'll put the paddle blade down against the bottom and hold it with two hands, you can kind of hold the boat steady while Hayden climbs in. Good work, buddy. Good job, Hayden. And there you are. Oh, I went the wrong way with it. Right, now, okay, so you want to be on opposite sides, and Hayden can't see Marcus, so it's up to Marcus to say, hey, switch sides. Or you can just switch sides, but just make sure you're opposite. You guys can switch sides whenever you want to, but talk it over so you do it at the same time. That way somebody's always on each side. Okay, up front, big guy, you're the motor. You a V8 today? <laughs> hold, hold the paddle right there on the black part, and you got the grip held really well in your other hand, the T grip. Now keep your hand right over the top. That's perfect. Just yep, just like that. That way you can kind of control the blade. And guys, you're going to paddle forward a lot today, so you want to be efficient. So the straighter, keep holding on to your paddle. Don't let go. The straighter up and down you hold your paddle, the more power you can put into it. Reach way forward and pull the boat forward till about there, and then just slice it out. And don't hit me in the back end. Okay. You want to put one hand over the top. That way, again, you can kind of control the blade better. I put one hand about there. Yeah, perfect. Now, you can paddle forward along with, with uh, Hayden, but, and sometimes you'll have to. But your main job is steering. You're the brains of the operation. Y'all want to switch? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Marcus, the easiest way to switch, and there's a lot of ways to steer a canoe, but here's the easiest way. If you'll spin in your seat just a little bit to face the side you're paddling on, just a little bit. Just switch, just go ahead and twist just a little bit more in the seat. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the blade as far behind you as you can get it with your T-grip near your knee. Keep holding one hand right about there. Yeah. And what you're going to do is put it down in the water and either just push it out a couple of feet several times. The boat will turn. Look forward. You'll see. See? Look forward. Yep. You're turning. Now, or reach out and pull into the boat. And the boat turns the other way. It works the same on either side. The big secret is reach as far behind you as you can. The further back you reach, the less work you put into it, the easier it is. And I don't know about y'all, I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> I want to be as easy as I can be. So, next thing I'm going to do is, is ask you to go over where Ian's going to sit. He's going to be on the far side. And I'm going to actually give you guys a little shot. Here's a little hint. If you want to go across the current, here's the easiest way to do it. You put your boat at kind of an angle to the current facing upriver and give it a little shove with your paddles. You guys won't even have to paddle. And all you got to do is kind of steer to keep the angle to the current and you're going to go right over to Ian. Watch this. Nice ferrying. Woo! Perfect! <laughs> Who wants to get in next? Ladies?